Hey everyone, Brandon Bonhoeffer back here, author and creator of the Key to Success Planner. Now, many of you guys have reached out to me over the last few months as we get ready for 2020. This planner has been totally redeveloped and it's been redeveloped with all your guys' interest in mind. I told everyone that once we got started in 2020 that I would be taking the time to do videos and show how I use the planner each and every day and how I use different aspects of the planner and really helping you guys use it to its full potential. Well, over the last few weeks, I've had a lot of people come to me and say, hey, how do I integrate or can I integrate Google Calendar or iCal into your planner, either on GoodNotes or OneNotes? My first response to that was, no, it's not designed for that, but there is integrations out there that you can probably search online and find this planner is meant to be used as a handwritten planner, as a daily planning tool. Now, I was very big into using different handwritten planners when I was growing up, and the one thing I got out of them before I switched to using electronic planners was when I wrote it down, I had a higher commitment to those plans. It was almost like I was kind of like, by making that handwritten gesture and writing those plans down and, and writing out those goals, I not only mem mentally recalled them better, but I also stuck to them better. And so when the iPad came out, and I've told you guys the story of how we created the Key to Success Planner, I really wanted to be able to use the functionality of those pencils, styluses, and pens on all those devices so that we could take handwritten notes and dedicate ourselves to what those goals are. And that's what we did. But at the same time, I value the notifications that all of our electronic devices give us. So I'm gonna take you guys through how I use my everyday Key to Success Planner and how I use it essentially integrated with iCal as a means of transferring over or processing through my daily reminders, appointments, and tasks that I need to actually schedule out. Now you might think, well Brandon, that's really duplication of service. Why would I not just use my iCalendar or my Google Calendar and not be my planner? Well, the thing is a planner is bigger than just appointments and dates and times. A planner is designed to be able to sketch through your week, be able to outline and brain map the different things and different functionalities of the goals that you want to achieve. And that's what the planner does through our weekly planning tools as well as our quarterly keys and just being able to overall achieve success through those goals that we're putting out there. That's planning in every aspect. When you get down to task management and writing out your appointments and the things you're having going on each day, those are elements of your plan. And yes, having a reminder, especially electronic reminder, is very important, helpful for that. But having a handwritten planner really helps you just move forward. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. We'll jump into it and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you my method of using my planner and my iCalendar on my iPad and show you how I do it. Now, next week is 2019 still. It's a holiday week here in the U.S. So you might uh, not see a lot of plans for me. And if you're watching this in 2020 and your model for the 2020 planner looks a little different, that's why. But essentially, it's the same process. And I, like I said, I wanted to get this information out to you so you guys could kind of see the life hack that I have here. So we can see next week I have an eye appointment at 8 o'clock and then I have a staff meeting and then I have lunch. Now what I do is say hypothetically speaking, I wanted to schedule a brainstorming session at 11 o'clock. Now I color coordinate my events. So basically for me, yellow is personal, orange is my work time, and then blue is creative time. So that's my plan for next Monday. Now if I jump over here, this is one really cool feature about the new version of iOS for the iPad is I can basically take my calendar and pull that on and off. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do that, but you can see it pops back and forth over the screen. So what I do is I pull up the date, you know, so here it is the 25th to match my date here. And you can see I have my appointments there, the kind of the same thing. Now I'm just gonna drop in here and I'm just gonna say creative time for the sake of this video. And here it's gonna be from 11 to 11.30, just like I have on my planner. 
So what's nice about this is now I have that reminder. It'll sync with my iPhone. It'll sync with the calendar on the iPad as well as my watch or any other device that I have that calendar connected to. It's also a good place where I can share my appointments with staff or my family. And you can see then you can still go about, you know, if you still had tasks and notes you want to put preparation for that, you still have all the space uh, that the planner allows, but yet you're still able to create those notifications. And it's really not a process because you can pop right over and see those. Now, one question is how do you get to those? You can see from uh, real big ways when you open up your calendar here, you can see that that's my calendar. Now, if I open up OneNote and I just pull this bar up a little bit, I can take that calendar and I can shift it right over here and that's how I'll get it in screen. Now, you could also do this and make it side by side. And this is a nice feature. I use, usually have this up sometimes when it's on the weekends and I'm doing my full plan. That way I can go side by side and I can see my calendar here as well as I can see what I have in my OneNote planner. Now, if you're using GoodNotes, that's the same thing. You'd be able to do it the same way. It's just a different application. So it works for both versions. So guys, there you have it. That's how I integrate uh, my calendar, my electronic notification uh, center, if I want to call it, with my digital planner. The whole idea of digital planning is to really commit to your plans. And the best way to do that is take handwritten notes. And not only helps you recall them a lot easier. It's just that sense of commitment that you're making by making that handwritten note. So that's my little life hack. I hope you guys use it. And I hope you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Moving forward, we're going to have a lot of videos on how to utilize this planner and just to make the most of every single day uh, and reach your goals. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Guys, I will see you again for sure. And I hope everyone is excited for 2020 as we're making plans to succeed.